This video will cover adding a new question directly to a Moodle quiz. Remember that setting up a quiz in Moodle is a two-step process. First, you create the quiz container and configure settings for how you want the quiz to function. This process was covered in a previous video about editing quiz settings. The second step is adding questions to the quiz, which will be covered in this video. If you are not already inside the quiz you want to edit, Make sure editing mode is switched on in Moodle, then navigate to the quiz to which you want to add questions. In the horizontal quiz activity menu, select questions. Notice at the top in the breadcrumb links that you are now in the questions section inside the quiz. You'll also see that questions is highlighted in the horizontal activity menu below the quiz name. To add a new question, click on add located on the right side underneath the word shuffle. You'll see there are several options for adding a question. If you want to create a new question and add it to the quiz immediately, select a new question. This will bring up a menu of question types, most of which can be auto-graded in Moodle. Let's start with a multiple choice question, then click add. In the quiz activity menu, question bank is now highlighted. That is because when you add a new question to a quiz, it actually gets stored in a place called the question bank and can then be used in any quiz. The question bank is a repository for all quiz questions in a Moodle course. We'll go over the question bank in more detail in a separate video. In the general settings for this multiple choice question, you can leave the category as default for now. We'll talk about categories later in the question bank video. Give the question a short descriptive name that allows you to identify what the question is about. The question name is not visible to students, so you can use whatever identifier makes sense to you without worrying about giving the answer away. The question text box is where you will write the question. Note that you aren't restricted to text only for your question. You can add images or a pre-existing video from a URL or Panopto and you can even record a brief video or audio clip on the spot. For now, I will just use text for my question. Below the question text, you can set the question status. When creating questions directly from inside a quiz, as we are here, keep this set to ready. This means as soon as you save the question, it will be added to the quiz. If you select draft instead, you'll get an error because draft questions are not available to be added to quizzes. Draft status is more useful when editing questions inside the question bank. Below the question text is where you can designate the number of points this question is worth. We'll leave this as the default. General feedback and ID number are optional fields. You'll need to specify whether there is one correct answer or multiple answers. By default, answer choices will be shuffled on each attempt if you have enabled the shuffle within questions setting when configuring the quiz settings. You can leave the numbering system as default. Next is where you will input the answer choices. The first text box is for the text that will display as a selectable answer below the question. Next, you will choose the grade the student will receive if they select this choice. For a single answer multiple choice question, we recommend 100% for the correct answer and none for all incorrect answers. None means no credit is given and 100% means they receive all the credit and the entire point amount for this question. You have the option to add specific feedback that will display when this answer is selected if you wish. Then just repeat the process for each answer choice. If you have fewer than five choices, blank ones will not be shown. If you need more than five options, click on blanks for three more choices. You can leave the combined feedback and multiple tries settings as is. Tags makes it easier to search through your questions later in the question bank. If you wanna add a tag to this question, just type in the box and hit enter or return. When you're done with all the question settings, click Save Changes. This will bring you back to the questions page. If you want to go back and edit the question some more, 
click on the gear next to the question name. Other icons allow you to preview and delete questions. If you want to change the point value, you can do that in this box. You can find out information about other common question types in Moodle by going to the questions resource linked in the video description. Directly adding one new question at a time is one method of putting questions into a quiz. You also have the option to add specific or random questions from the question bank. Remember that every question that you add is stored in the question bank. So if you accidentally delete a question from the questions page of a quiz, don't worry, you can add it back from the question bank. You can also reuse questions in subsequent quizzes or switch out questions in a quiz easily from semester to semester. The question bank is a pretty powerful tool. You can save your changes as you add questions to the quiz by clicking on the Save button at the top right. There are also additional things you can do on the questions page. You can change the maximum grade for the quiz and turn question shuffling on and off for each quiz attempt. You can drag the questions up and down to rearrange the order. And you can adjust the page breaks between questions by clicking on these buttons at the left. Remember, you can click on the blue question marks to find out more about each setting. Additionally, you can click on the Help question mark button at the bottom right of the screen. Then select Documentation. This will open a page that shows the official Moodle documentation for the page you are editing and for the correct version of Moodle. After you've saved all changes, it's a good idea to preview the entire quiz to make sure everything looks the way you want. To do this, select Quiz in the Activity menu, then click on the Preview Quiz button. You can also access the quiz from the main course page, then click the Preview Quiz button. This will show you the quiz as students will see it. You can leave the preview at any time. Click Quiz in the Activity menu to go back to the quiz page, or return to the main page by clicking the course name at the top. Thanks for watching this video about adding a new question to a Moodle quiz. Be sure to check out our playlist for additional Moodle quiz videos.